I'm gonna start with my simple moisturizer. I've done clean my face. I'm getting ready to go to church this morning. Josh is at work. Rub it all over your face. So tired this morning. We had storms and I didn't sleep good. But it doesn't stop you from going to church. Then I'm gonna start with something new that I got in. It's instant age rewind the lifter by Maybelline. And it is in classic ivory. It's, it's not a new product, it's new to me. And it's got primer built in, so I ain't putting a primer on with it. I'm going to take my Morphe M439 and just start dabbing it on my face. Oh, I hope it ain't too dark. It's classic ivory, but it's kind of dark. And two pumps don't do it. Of course, it just I just opened it too, so I'll have to. Two pumps may do it after that, though. Cause I had to pump the air out of it. Just start working that in your face, blending it in. Make sure you get around your neck good so you don't have harsh lines. I always work around the bottom part of my face first. Have y'all noticed that? I don't know why, but I do. You want to make sure the same thing up near your hairline. And this is like a lot coverage, so we'll see if it's buildable today. Because I got my rosacea showing through pretty bad where I didn't sleep too awful good. So let's see if it's buildable. So that's one coat. Let's go for two and see. So if it's not buildable, it's going to be more like a BB cream instead of an actual foundation. Which I think it's going to be more like a BB cream, guys. Well, from first impressions of putting it on, it's how it feels. It doesn't seem to be building up too well. But we'll try it and I'll let you guys know. We'll do a first impression on it and let you know how it cracks and all that stuff. If it breaks loose and, you know, melts. So yesterday was exciting for Big Stone. Um, here a couple months back, one of their fire trucks had caught on fire at an actual fire. They were working a fire. Something happened and it caught on fire. And uh, they thought they was just going to be able to fix it instead of replace, um, re instead of having to replace it. And they sent it to the place to be fixed and they said it cannot be fixed and put back in working order. It's going to have to be put down. And it was sad because uh, we had lost one of our members in 2013 due to a car wreck. It was actually the captain's dad, and uh, he was a big influence on a lot of people. Next, we're going in with the concealer, and it's the instant age rewind that I've been using. Um, so it was it was kind of bittersweet yesterday, and we done the. You can Google it and look it up. Um, where you take, you clean the tires, where you put it in the bay, and then you. Take the water out of the old truck that it's replacing and put it in the new truck. Bring in old life into new. Or the wet sponge. Just start having that. And uh, I videoed it all. And um, like I said, it was just bittersweet. Because that truck that they're replacing it with was Teddy's truck. And um, it was just... <laughs> I've known, I had known Teddy. I've known the whole Chandler family forever. And, um, Billy, if you happen to see this, I miss your dad with her. 
you know it or not, I know you do. But he'd be proud of you because you've done really well. Then we're going in with the RMCA. RCMA. I'll get it right up a little while. I'm just going to put some out in the cap. But, uh, I don't think anybody videoed it. I think I was the only one videoing it. Everybody took pictures. And you're just going to put this where you put your concealer. And we're just going to bake it in. Just as usual. But, uh, it was something I had never seen. Because the last fire truck I had come into the bay, that Big Stone Fire was in 98. And I wasn't on the rescue squad. So, and the rescue squad didn't have any kind of things like that. And when we got a new truck, we just put it in the bag, started putting equipment on it, and started running calls. So, um, and then they pushed it into the bay. It was running, of course, with very little gas, because it's a big truck. You gotta put all that water on it. And the equipment hadn't went on it yet, but just the water. And, it, you know, the trucks themselves are tons, so. Uh, we're gonna go in with Nick's eye base and my skin tone they have snow white and white or snow pearl and white i think is what they are called but um it was just something interesting to see it was nice to see the firemen get together and actually work together as they normally do and then we had a little um finger food type thing afterwards and a big cake and that kind of thing so it was really nice I wasn't going to go, and then Josh asked me to go and take pictures and video it, so I did that. I'm kind of glad I went. I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette this morning. Um, my Z palette with all my Morphe colors in it. I may dip into my Makeup Geek. If I switch over, I'll let you know. I'm going to go in with the Be Fluffy brush. And the first color I'm going to go in with is um, Pearl. It's just a light tan color. Just to start as a transition shade. Maddie's out of school now. She goes Monday to camp. Aunt Darlene's not happy about that. She's eight and able to go to camp now. So I'm kind of... She's growing up on us. Of course, I've always said she's eight going on 30, so. Yesterday, I took her out yesterday day during the daytime, and we went and ate lunch, and um, she needed a pillow, so I went and bought her a pillow. She had everything else for camp. With the same fluffy brush, we're going to go in with a little darker shade. A uh, birthday suit. It's just a darker brown. But, uh, I'm just not ready. I know her mommy's probably not ready, but I'm definitely not ready to let her go. And it's just, you know, it's time, I guess. She goes into the third grade next year. Okay, then with a the paddle brush, we're going to go in with a darker brown. And I'm going to take, um, Marvelized. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, if you can see it there. Let me get it right. If the light will catch it, just right there. Put that on your lid. And you can just do these with browns. Just start with your lightest brown. And just um, go in. And then go to the next a little bit darker and then darken it. And the fluffy brush with no extra pack, no extra product, um, just start blending it in so that way there's no harsh lines. And then with a pencil brush, just with a point, I'm gonna pick up just a tad of um, creme brulee. It's a matte brown. And I'm just going to work that into the end. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, it looks like. No, my bad. That's from another color I'd use. <laughs> Once you put that in the V, start working it into the crease just a little bit. And that'll just deepen up that end for you. That's all you're going to do is just deepen up that end a little bit. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a matte. It's not a, not a shimmer at all. I thought at first it had shimmer in it, but I didn't film yesterday. I did put a little bit of makeup on, and I think I bought um, one of my other colors must have went in. And back to you, fluffy brush, just blend it, because you just want no harsh lines. You just want it smoothed out and uniformed. I am going to go up a little bit. I don't know if I like that foundation too well. Look like I got a line and I smoothed it out. I can fix it though for today, but I don't know if I'm going to use that foundation anymore. For right now, I mean that's just looking at it just now, I just don't know. I'm going to have to decide a little bit more. Now with your big fluffy brush, you're going to wipe away all your baking powder. Just knock it away. You can bake longer. The longer you bake, the more of a definition your face is going to have. But you're normally supposed to bake 10 to 15 minutes. I don't have 10 to 15 minutes today. I'm running a little bit late. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Um, taupe eyebrow pencil. Start working it through my eyebrows. I had somebody that actually recognized me yesterday at Walmart from YouTube. Um, she was like, I know you from somewhere. I had no idea who this lady was. I had never met her. And I said, okay, I don't recognize you, honey. I'm sorry. Not thinking, because I'd forgotten that I had started doing this. And she said, do we have Facebook together? And I said, I don't think so. I said, I have very few people on my Facebook. I said, people on my Facebook are either family or, you know, people I go to church with. She said, well, I know we don't go to church together. Apparently, she doesn't go to church. But, um, doing elf. And I'm having to switch over to the other side. You know, I told you it was dual end. It was eyebrow and mascara. So, we're switching over because this is gone. It's nice and clear, but it won't be. And uh, she sat there for a few minutes and she said, you have a Twitter account? And I said, yes, I do. She said, well, let me ask you one more question and I'll leave you alone. I said, well, honey, you ain't bothering me. I said, if you're trying, and she was an older lady. She wasn't real young. She was an older lady. Not real old. I mean, she was a little bit older than I am. And, um, I'm going to go in with Rimmel Waterproof Nude Eyeliner in the, in the waterline. Just because my eyes look kind of tired. And this is just going to brighten them up a little bit. And she said, do you do YouTube? And I said, I do. Makeup tutorials. I said, I do. And she said, that's where I know you from. I said, oh, okay. She said, I like them. She said, you talk to the camera just like you're talking to a person. We're going in with uh, Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. And I said, okay, thank you. And she said, I haven't subscribed yet because I don't know how to sign in. Do you, can you explain that to me? So I explained it to her real quick. And my husband and my niece are kind of walking around like, come on. Because Josh had to be down at the fire hall at a certain time. So. And Maddie's just eight. She's just, she don't like to sit and talk, so. So I explained that to her. And then um, she said, well, I know what I'm doing when I get home. And I said, okay. I said, I'd appreciate it. And she said, well, I enjoy watching your tutorials. She said, so, well, she said videos. She said, so, I am going to do it. I want to be a part of your show. <laughs> I said, a subscriber and she said yes and I said okay it's fine I got a little bit of mascara on the top part of my eye on both sides don't bother it if you do that just let it dry and then I'll show you how to go in and fix that um, it's a real simple fix next I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek blush and it's the one I got in um, my May BoxyCharm 
and it's XOXO. It's very high pigmented. And um, I have to just I have to knock it off because it's so high in pigment. I mean, some people might like it like that, but I'm not one that likes it real, real dark. But that made me feel good. My point. I've only been doing this for a little while, and I was thinking that I really wasn't doing no good, but. Apparently, it's getting out there somewhere because people are beginning to notice. Now, I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Maybelline powder and dust it all over my face where I didn't put any other powder. With the fluffy brush that I used to knock off the other powder. And I may powder back over some of the places that I did um, bake. Just because... And I'm going to go over it blush just a little bit with it. Try to knock it down some. Yeah. Let's go down my neck just to kind of... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, I know what it is. I ain't got my back lights on. Yeah, it's not dark. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to get my back lights on. I wasn't thinking at all. I just put my hair in a clip and then took my bangs and then just pulled them over. Um, I plan on getting my hair colored tomorrow. And you can't color clean hair. Well, you can color clean hair. It just don't stick as well as it does if it's kind of dirty or a day or a day or two old. You know, dirty. So, this is the reason I'm not doing it. I'm going in with my big fluffy brush from SV Mall. I got this on Amazon. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Illuminator kit, the four pack. And I'm just going to take my brush across to it on all four shades. I'm not picking a specific shade because it's, you know, and I'm just going to dose this across my cheeks. The cheek bone, I'm going above the um, blush, just right on the bone. We're just going to highlight a little bit there. And then I'm going to take the pink color and the cream color, the two lightest ones. And I'm going to go down my nose and on the tip of my nose. My cupid's bow. My chin. Above the eyebrow and below. Just to define that a little bit. And that's all with that. And then I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronze and we're going to bronze it up a little bit since it's not dark now. I was debating on whether to do this or not. And I'm taking an Eco Tools that I got yesterday. It's, I don't know if y'all can tell that. It's kind of oval shape. And I thought that would be perfect for bronzing. But since I'm not orange that I, did, I thought I was or as dark as I thought I was, we're going to bronze up the face just a tad. underneath the blush a little bit just for some you can actually blend it into your blush a little bit and kind of I'm going to go down the sides of my nose underneath my chin my jawline and underneath my bottom lip I'm going in with another boxy charm it's um, Starlux and Charm Ultra Long Wearing Lip Liner. Um, and line my lips. This is almost a pinky nude. And then I'm going in with Charm by Ofra and Manny MUA. It's his collaboration with them. And no, it doesn't match. This is actually a little bit darker than the other Charm. And I was hoping when I got it, it was the same. But we're going to work with it. I'm going to go to your up, upper lip.
like something like that. It's a very pretty color. Very, very pretty. His Hypno color is awesome. It's um, it's the darkest one of all three. He done three. Uh, Aries is the lightest. It's a nude, peachy nude. This is kind of a little bit darker. It's a rosy, a rosy color. I got some out of my line over here. Just gonna take a little Q-tip. I gotta have it anyway because I gotta fix my my mascara. But I'm gonna fix my lipstick first before it dries. Same thing with your Q-tip. Just pull it out a little bit and then just. Clean the edges up and then with your q-tip um just squeeze it out and you come out with three if you're new to my channel they're on ofracosmetics.com o-f-r o-f-r-a cosmetics and um one is hypno which is the darkest if you like a vampy red lip that's the color for you the next one down is charmed which is the one i'm wearing today and they fit all skin types, skin colors, skin tones. Um, I'm going to go back in with my paddle brush just because it looks like some of my bottom come off over here. My eyes are swollen too, right? It's look good. That could be it. And then the last one is Aries, and it's the lightest, and it's a peachy nude. Next I'm going in with the NYX Dewy Finish Finishing Spray and this is just going to lay down your powder. You don't have to use this. I just, I like it. It seems to make my, my foundation last a little longer. But um, that's the look for the day. I'll let you know about the foundation. Pros, cons this afternoon. Now that I know that it's not as dark as I thought it was. In the bottle, it looks a little darker than, um, see? It looks a little darker than um, Classic Ivory. And I mean, I wear Classic Ivory and Porcelain and other shades. And I, <laughs> I was looking at it and I was comparing last night. And I was like, that kind of looks dark, but we'll try it tomorrow. We'll do a first impressions on it. So this is the tutorial for today. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fan this real quick because I'm in a hurry. I got up a little late. And uh, comment in the comment bar if there's any kind of products you'd like to see. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. There is a giveaway on July 31st uh, at midnight. If I reach 100 subscribers, uh, I'll give away a $50 gift card to Ulta. Cosmetics is gone. It's open international, U.S. and international. So, um... But you have to be subscribed to the channel. You can go to my video. That's it's a giveaway video. It says giveaway. That's all it is. Is talking about the giveaway. Um, thumbs up if you like these kind of tutorials, or if you'd rather have the over voice or the voiceovers. I got some tutorials filmed to go up uh, this upcoming week. I upload on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday unless something comes up. Um, internet plans, things like that, and then I try to upload earlier or upload two at one time so that way you have them. You, you still have the three for the week. Um, yeah, other than that, I hope you all have a great safe day, whether it's day or night, or day or evening. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys, welcome back. I just got back from church, and um, we went to eat at Alores right here in town. And the foundation, I'm really not for sure about it. And the foundation I'm talking about is the Maybelline... Instant Age Rewind, uh, the lifter, primer inside, base uh, coat, lift and makeup with particles. It's classic ivory, which is what I wear in other things. Um, looks like this. It's not new, but it's you know, like I said, it's it's something new I wanted to try. Now the instant, uh oh, sorry guys, the instant age rewinder for under the eyes, I love. I use it with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and I love it. Um, this, this morning when I first started putting it on, you know, I told you it was lightweight. It felt more like a BB cream. It looked 
kind of dark on my face and I thought I didn't have my side lights on or my back lights on and I thought well maybe that's it so I flipped around and I cut them on you we'll see it on the video well I just got home from church and I let the dog out and I looked in the mirror in the bathroom and I was like makeup don't look smooth like normal and nice and I thought the only thing changed is this now this is the first time I've ever wore it I opened it on camera today I may just need to try it a little bit more it's not cracked or anything like around my face where I ate around my lips where I ate around my nose um, right in here around my t-zone and none of that's cracked it's just the the pigment of it is what's getting me it looks kind of orangey not on my neck it doesn't look orange like from about here up it kind of looks orange I don't know um I'm not gonna take my makeup off right now it's um one o'clock I've got some things here in the house I need to do um laundry things like that just in the house because it's pouring the rain here um so I'll see how it does if it starts cracking or anything because like I said I just went to church and then we went to eat and that was it but as far as the pigment and this is the lightest shade it comes in I looked at CVS yesterday and at Walmart and I got this off Amazon because it's cheaper and classic ivory is the so if you're if you're fair skinned like me and if it doesn't change um classic ivory is the, the the lightest it goes it doesn't go to porcelain like like other Maybelline products does um yeah well we'll check back in and see like I said it's not cracking it's 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 staying good um maybe it's where it's got the primer built in maybe I should have put a primer anyway I don't know um I'll check back in with you I'm just I'm rambling now so I'll go ahead and go but uh this is first check in and uh, we'll check in two more times before I uh, take my makeup off. Normally I come in and take my makeup off, put pajamas on and I'm comfortable. But we'll wait and see how it goes. So, day or night, wherever you are, hope you're having a good one. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, this is going to be my final look. Um, my back and hips are hurting kind of bad where it's raining so bad. Where I've got arthritis. So I'm going to go ahead and do my final impression on this. Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Lift. Um, it's still not cracked or anything. I've been doing things and moving things, and um, it's really not done anything. So, other than the color, I'm going to use it a couple more times. I'm going to use it with primer, use it again without primer, um, and see how it goes. And I'll you know, let you know like on a follow up video or something. Um, it went on real smooth, but I think it's more of a like a BB cream, honestly, than a foundation. I was looking to see if it uh said anything about foundation. yeah, it says uh lifting foundation. So foundation to me is full coverage or medium coverage and up. And then BB cream is, you know, your light moisturizer, tint moisturizer. Um, but yeah, as far as first impressions, I'm not really happy with it just because of the pigment. It stays really well. I mean, it's not moved, cracked, or any of that stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll just keep working with it. Like I said, I'll, I'll try it with different primers, silicone primers, and that kind of thing, and we'll go from there. But yeah, um, I should have a video up for you for tomorrow. I'm going to start it tonight putting up. With my internet, I have to start it on Sunday, and then sometime middle of the night, it, I can get up in the middle of the night and post it, and it's published for Monday morning, so uh, you'll have a video up. I'm not for sure what I'm putting up. I have to look at my videos. I've got some I need to edit. I just don't feel like doing that either. Um, I took care of stuff here at the house that I had to be taken care of, and then um, I'm going to get in a hot bath and just soak and see if that'll help with my back. Uh, it's the only thing I hate about rain and then cold weather. Cold weather kills me. If you have arthritis, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. 
I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to go. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. There is a giveaway going on. Uh, check out my video giveaway um, for all the details on it. And um, comment in the comment bar if you've used this, if you've experienced the same stuff, what your experience is with it. Um, if you want me to keep trying stuff like this and giving you my first impressions on it. Um, thumbs up if you like the talk through videos, the get, chit chat get ready with me's or whatever. And we'll talk to you in the next tutorial. Bye.